Welcome back, everybody. Time to take a look at the longer range again. And as we go throughout the first full week of the new month, it seems like we are in a bit of an active pattern. Now, our first storm system to come through for the midweek will be in the form of rain. Things will change just a bit as we get towards the end of the week. We're looking at Wednesday morning and another cold front rolling through after some very warm temperatures on Tuesday. This zero line, it's the surface, as depicted by the blue line moving through western Pennsylvania, begins to come through. And whatever rain that we do have falling will go over to snow across west central Pennsylvania as low pressure heads its way up into New England and continues its way off towards the northeast. We'll jump forward 12 hours. We'll get into Wednesday evening. Some chillier air working in, not true Arctic air, but certainly cold air coming in from Canada, and there will be some leftover light snow showers occurring through the mountains across parts of Pennsylvania, western Maryland, and northern West Virginia. So that's storm system number one, and as it pulls away, it will leave cold air in its wake. Looking at storm system number two, another low pressure system associated with Basically some Arctic air riding through parts of Canada. It will begin to work its way off towards the south and east as we get into Thursday and out ahead of it. We are seeing snow developing already through parts of the Dakotas. We'll track the progress of this 24 hours later. You can see a swath of snow moving through parts of the Great Lakes. Some pretty decent amounts here as it continues to translate off towards the east and southeast. Pennsylvania, borderline, but still cold enough for snow to fall, and that system does look to arrive as we get into the day Friday. We'll get into Friday morning, the 8th. Snow is falling across the area, all locations at or below freezing, and as this low pressure system moves through, it does begin to redevelop along the east coast. Now, the eventual track of this system is going to be very crucial for the Friday afternoon, Friday night forecast. Current indications are that it rides off towards the east-northeast, but don't be surprised if this storm is a little bit closer to the coast.